Hi, thank you for installing PDF Data Extractor. To get started, to run the program, click on Windows Start menu and you should see PDF Data Extractor in the Start menu there. On first startup, it should load a default setup for a, an example PDF that we provided. If for some reason it doesn't, if you click on File menu, Load Setup, in the Install folder, you will see some examples here, example 1, 2, 3, 4 and various others. These are covered also in the help file, if you click on say for example example 1, then it should load the default setup and there's some example PDFs as well. If you click on help, HTML help, in here there are some examples from simple to more advanced. Now going back to the main program. You can test it by just clicking process and it'll output three lines which has been preset to do this. So I've basically got a four page PDF and it's output a three lines from it. Now say for example I wanted to add another uh, column to that extraction. Say I want this A1 data. If I left mouse on that to highlight it and then right mouse output get lots of different options and select a fairly standard one here that is the horizontal position of the data which it shows there so it's 93 I'm going to leave it at that and the vertical is downwards on the page so um, I'm going to set it to a slight range because I know that page 4 is slightly different position now if I click show text HV, if I click on page 4, I can see that A1 starts at 93 horizontal and vertical is 758. So I should have that covered now in that match. Now I just click process again. Yes. I can now see I've got that extra column on the end, the extra data on the end from each one. I can also add a header. To do this, go to setup, header on output. So I can put my file name, um, got the account number, comma, um, extra data. Then click process, click yes, and then you can see the header there at the top. You can remove the file name. If you want to, you can also add some other preset fields. If you go on setup, extra fields, you can see there it's got output file title. You can just remove that and then it will output it. And you can also output page count and page number matched and things like that if you wanted to. So now I can go into header, remove the file name, for example. Click process again and it should only output the two columns which it has. So that's a quick guide on how to get started. As I say, there are lots of examples in the help, but also, we also have a, a video help on YouTube. You can see the link to it from one of the examples here. That takes you to the web page, which has a, a list of all the videos. If you have any problems, then email is at support at traction-software.co.uk Thank you for installing.